Hello and welcome from the Bristly Stranger. We've got some lovely smooth jazz and we are looking at the demo of Superliminal. This is from Pillow Castle, love that name, and it is out on the 5th of November. I'll put a link as always to the Steam page down below. You can do that. This is a first person perspective puzzler. Now I have seen a little bit about it, it looks super interesting, and I thought we'd just have a quick look Was the demo was available on the Steam Festival that has just gone. I don't think the demo is available anymore, but obviously the game will be coming soon, just less than half a month, something like that. There might be a demo then, I don't know, we'll have to keep an eye on the page. Let's start a new game and see what this game is all about. So we are starting, we've got WASD and mouse, which is on the wall just here, excellent. Uh, so, ooh, what have we got here? Now this is going to be slightly different. I've just got to sign the terms of service. And we've got a door now, excellent. So as we do things, the game will change. Now, I'm not brilliant at first person games, it's a long time since I've played them seriously and I do get a bit of motion sickness, so hopefully uh, grab one of these. Okay, I will. Uh, so we can now drop it down there and it's quite a lot bigger than these ones because we've moved it with perspective. So if we come close here and then put it up like that Oh, it's now ginormous. Uh, I'm not sure what we're supposed to be doing with this, but that is how the base mechanic works. Ah, I see. We've got a pawn there, that's a bit big. We've got this rook. We can just make it nice and small, and then we can actually get past it. Uh, space to jump, nice. Oh, we've got some building. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Okay, uh, so, as always, we can just make things smaller like that. Aha, we have got a door behind that block. So, this one... If we move that to there, we should have made a nice stepping stone for us. Lovely. So we're in a dream state. Uh, we have got no objects going through here. So, ah, so we can't cheat. We can't take this through. But if we drop it down, we can just walk through. So that block is over there. We obviously need to stand on here, but if we step off it... Uh, can we just grab that and then put that on it? Oh, lovely. Okay, not much of a puzzle. I think we just kind of guess what we're doing. We want to go up there. We can't pick up the table, but we can, of course, pick up this block. Now, we want it a little bit bigger. So, uh, how, how can we make that bigger? Uh... Well, that has worked slightly. Yeah, we're getting there. Uh, although, the problem is now... Oh, we can just make that jump. Excellent. Lovely. Oh, such a neat idea. Uh, we have got... Oh, <laughs> we have got a pawn painted on here. This is baking my noodle. Uh, Three AMs. Time for work. Uh, okay, nothing going on. It is 3 a.m., is it? Okay. Um, this does look a little bit weird. Uh, I'm not sure what we do. Can we, if we move back, can we move this? No, we can't seem to pick anything up. Okay. Oh, this bit, really my head. Um, we've got three M's. It looks like we've got a camera there. Snooze! 
Oh. Okay. Um. Must be time for work because it is 3 a.m. This doesn't look like my house. That's fine. Uh, have we just woke up from the test? We can't go into any of these. Uh, we have got a couple of doors. Yeah, well, we're just leaving the building. Okay. It does remind me of several other types of game. But obviously, we've got that puzzle element. Uh, looks like we're in a hotel now. Ah, the exit. Okay, push bar to open. Okay. Uh, and again, we've got an exit just here. Oh. Temporarily removed. Ah. So it looks like we are still in the dream state. What was that? That was nothing. That was just a room. Uh, whoa! Madness. I like that. Uh, this is the corridor. Okay, we didn't check that room there. Have a quick look. Then we get to experience that weird bit. No, it's nothing here. Okay. Didn't need to do that. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Got steam overlay there. Hope that didn't come on the recording. Whoa. Now, I think that was to stop us bringing anything through at these exit signs that we can take with us. Uh, I wonder. We've made that slightly bigger. Can we somehow make that a lot bigger and walk up it? Is that going to be too shallow? Oh. Yes, <laughs> excellent. Well, we've got that thing up there. Uh, we've walked out of the set. Oh, attention to detail, fantastic. Uh, but it looks like we can go this way. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. <laughs> but not to worry, we're working on it. Uh, right. I think we just walk through. We can't take anything with us. We've got a door up there. Uh, we can't seem to grab anything here. Anything in here that's useful? Oh, that's clever. Uh, can I manage to get it together? Yep, there it is. Wow. I like that. That's such a clever idea. I think this game is going to break my noodle bone. Is that enough? Oh, we did it. We did it. Uh, another door. Looks like some marks. We have got another of the exciting cubes. No, it looks like a piece is missing. Uh, is that going to get the table? Yes. Ah, that thing is the missing piece. There we go. That's clever, isn't it? It's got steps on it. Oh, that's even better. So, we needed to go into here. Uh, <clears throat> now, I'm battling with the British weather and trying to have a cold, so apologies in advance for that. Can we get up? Oh, we can. Uh, another radio. Is it from that nice man? Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hi, Dr. Glenn. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. <laughs> For example. Oh. And that is it. 
unfortunately a very small demo, but that shows the little bits and pieces that are available. I'm going to be trying to get a key for this. If I can, we will certainly be seeing more of this on the channel. Really liked it. Very different from everything else I've done, but such a, an interesting idea for a game. Moving things about, using perspective. My motion sickness was triggering all the way through that, so I'm not entirely sure what playing a full game of this would be like. But the demo was absolutely lovely. If you have enjoyed it, you know what to do. Your likes, comments, all of that good stuff, very much appreciated. But for now, I've been the Bristly Stranger. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully we will see you next time.